Okay, so we are going to talk about even odd functions over here. Even odd functions. Okay. What's an even function? What is an even function? An even function, an even function is a function which satisfies this functional equation. Yes, this is actually a functional equation. Okay. So any function which satisfies this functional equation is said to be an even function. Okay. Examples of this would be many functions that you have come across like x square, okay, cos x function, okay, mod x function. Okay. These are examples of even function. As you can see, if you replace your x with a minus x, nothing happens to the function. So this is an example of an even function. Okay. Similarly, what's an odd function? An odd function is the one which satisfies this functional equation. Okay. Typical example of this would be your x cube function, sine x function. Okay. Or you can say any kind of a polynomial uh, or any kind of an algebraic equation having only odd powers of x. Okay. Tan x function. These are all examples of, of odd functions. From the functional definition, it is clear that even function, the value of y doesn't change even if you change x to minus x. That means the function graph is exactly symmetrical about the y axis. It's symmetrical about y axis. But here if you see, here if you see, the value of y flips if your x sign flips. In other words, if you change the sign of x, even the sign of y gets changed. In such cases, we say the graph is symmetrical about, about origin. Okay. So whatever you draw in the first quadrant, you will draw the same thing in the third quadrant. And whatever you draw in the second quadrant, the same thing you will draw in the fourth quadrant. That is what is meant about symmetrical about origin. Symmetrical about Y axis. We all know it's mirror image about the Y axis. Okay. Now let us look into some properties of even odd function and then we'll start solving questions on the same. Properties of even odd functions. <clears throat> the first property that I would like you to understand is a function can be neither. Why I chose this property as my first property? Because many people have this wrong notion that every function in this world will either fall under even function or fall under odd function. Just like every integer is either even or odd. It doesn't work the same for functions. Functions can be neither also. Okay. So a typical example I would give you is something like X square plus X cube. Okay. If you change your X with a minus X, it, it neither generates F of X. It neither generates F of X. It neither generates negative F of X, right? So it is neither even nor odd. So it is not compulsory that every function in this world has to be even or odd. It can be neither also. Okay. Second property. Any function, any function, any real valued function can be expressed as, can be expressed as sum of an even and an odd function. Stock resemblance with uh, matrices, any matrix, any matrix, square matrix can be expressed as a sum of a symmetric and skew symmetric matrix in the same way. Now, why does this work? It works because let's say I have a function f of x. Okay. Now this could be even. This could be odd. Correct. Doesn't matter. It could be neither also. Doesn't matter. 
can i write this function like this f of x plus f of minus x by 2 and f of x minus f of minus x by 2 okay of course you would agree with this because uh, if you open the brackets here f of x by 2 and f of x by 2 will add up to give you f of x rest of the term gets cancelled now what i'm claiming here is that this function let me name it as h of x is actually an even function and this function let me call this as g of x is actually an odd function that's what i'm trying to claim so let's check whether they are actually even or not so if you want to check this is even or odd you just change your x with a minus x when you do that what will happen this will become f of minus x f of x by 2 doesn't it give you the same function back yes Okay. Yes or no? Advik has a question, sir. Is this what the expansion of e to the power x works on? I I didn't get that. E to the power x expansion comes from Maclaurin series. Okay. So that means h of x is an even function. Is an even function. Okay. Is an even function. Similarly, if you check with g of x, in g of x, if you replace your x with a minus x, it will become f of minus x minus f of x by two, which is clearly negative of f of x minus f of minus x by two, which is clearly negative of g of x, which implies that g of x is an odd function. Okay. At the same time, I would like you to know one more property so that we can justify when your function f is exactly even or exactly odd. Remember, zero function is both even and odd. This is both even and odd. Okay. So zero is such a function which is both even. And odd. That is why, if you have, let's say, just an x squared. If you just take an x squared, x squared can be written as x squared plus zero, and then x squared becomes even and zero becomes odd. If you write x cube, x cube can be written as zero plus x cube, then zero becomes odd. Sorry, even and x cube becomes an odd. Okay, so zero can play both the roles. So if your f of x is purely even or purely odd, then zero can be used to justify that this property will hold even good at that time. Is that correct? Is that fine? Okay. So property number three. I hope you have written it down. I would like to go to the next page. So if you want to copy anything, please do so immediately. Done. Yes, sir. Done. Okay. Next property, which is probably number four, every even function is a many one function. Every even function, even function, is a many one function. Of course, for all x belonging to the domain of the function. Okay. 
uh, if you take any even even function let's say cos x function okay in fact uh, let's take x square those are all known to be many one function that means if you draw a horizontal line that will definitely cut the function at two or more than two points okay but can we say the fact that all odd functions are one one functions that we cannot say a clear cut example for that would be sin x which violates that rule sin x is a many one function and still it is a odd function still it is an odd function so if this is true do not think that every odd function is a one one function no okay sin x tan x they are very classic examples cosec x they are classic examples of odd functions which are not one one which are not one one okay next first derivative or uh, let me write it like this yeah let me write first derivative only first derivative of an even function even function will always give you an odd function and vice versa first derivative of odd function will always give you an even function okay why is this true can somebody justify this can somebody prove this why is this true so let's take an example no 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 proving is not example then you are very okay. fine prove it prove it that means any even function if you take if you differentiate it you'll always get an odd function so we can take the definition and just differentiate that yeah. right so let us say if i take an even function that means a function which satisfies this criteria okay so let's say f is an even function let's say f is even function which implies it satisfies this criteria if you differentiate it and let's say i call this as some g of x okay what do you get here what do you get here you get minus of f dash minus x isn't it minus of yes, x correct yes or no and what is this actually this is minus of g dash minus x sorry minus of g of minus x isn't it because if you are calling this as your g of x this term put a minus here and there minus will come over here replace x with a minus x this will become here so indirectly what are you trying to claim you are trying to claim that g of x is negative of g of minus x that means g of minus x is negative of g of x which means g of x will be an odd function got the point yes or no yes sir graphically how would you prove it so i was thinking like uh, even uh, an even function will have the same value but on the other side the the slope will be negative hmm. it will be the same thing but negative so and since the slope is the derivative of this hmm. that means uh, since it's changing sign on both sides that means it has to be odd okay so basically what what he is trying to say is that let's say there is an even function like this if you take any point here let's say x and sketch a tangent here and take any point minus x and sketch a tangent over here let's say if this has a slope of k then this will have a slope of minus k that means the derivative will have sorry minus k yes absolutely correct uh, ruchit that will that's a way to guess it okay similarly you can prove the other way around also that the derivative of an odd function will always be even okay let's take the sixth property let's take the sixth property a uh, sixth property i would like to make a box here
F G some difference product quotient. Okay. So this is your f of x, this is your g of x column, this is your sum of f and g, this is difference of f and g, this is product of f and g, this is quotient of f and g, and this is composition of f and g. Okay. Let's write what will be the nature of the sum, difference, product, or quotient when both are even. So it is even. This one even? Any doubt regarding this? Some of two even functions will be even. What about the difference? Even. Even. What about the product? Even. Quotient? Quotient? Even? Any doubt with quotient being even? Let me know if you have if you are doubtful about any one of them. Okay. Composition that will also be even. Okay. Now some people will may want to know about the composition. See, let's say I take h of x to be f of x into uh, f of x g of x, f of g of x. My bad. If you replace your x with a minus x, it will become f of g of minus x. But since g is even. It will immediately convert g of minus x as g of x, giving you h of x back. Okay, so h of negative x and h of x gives you the same uh, expression. That means it is also even. So okay. can you tell for the quotient also? Once? Yeah, this question was the same. Thing. Quotient also. Let's say h of x is f of x by g of x. If you okay, replace so your h with a minus x, it will become f of minus x. By g of minus x, and since both of them are even, it will come back to the original shape. That means it will come back to h of x. Correct. Okay. What about even and odd? So you can't comment about. You can't comment. So say neither. Okay. It will be neither even nor odd. Same with difference. Let me write it in white. What about the product? Odd. Odd. Very good. What about the quotient? Odd. Odd. What odd. about the composition? So even. 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 Absolutely, it will be even. Anybody who wants to know why it is even, I'll quickly discuss this here. See. Uh, I've already written it over here. Let's say your f is even and g is odd. Then what will happen? At this step, there will be a minus sign created over here. But remember, but remember, f is an even function, so it will not take, it will not care about this negative in its input. It will just treat it as f of g of x. That means you are back to the same function. And if you are back to the same function, means it is even. Odd even. Uh, and neither, neither. and neither neither product or or this or this even even absolutely correct what about odd odd some, will some be difference or Odd, odd. Product, product, even. Even. Quotient. Even. 
composition. Composition will be odd. odd for the first time. Okay. So when both the functions are odd, composition will also be odd. Let's check. Let's check. So if h of x is f of g of x, let's change x with a minus x. It will become f of g of minus x. Now remember, g is an odd function. So immediately minus sign will come out. And even f is an odd function, so immediately minus sign will come out here also, giving you negative of, of h of x. Yes, it is an odd function. Please note down this table. No, 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 no. Here, yeah. some often even and odd function will be always neither. It cannot be even or odd or neither. No, it will be always be neither. Tell me an instance. Tell me an instance where an even and odd function will give you an even function. I don't think so. You'll be able to find such an occasion. Okay. <laughs> but you, you could not find. Okay. All right. So which property was this sixth one? So let's go to the seventh one. Uh, seventh one says, if x equal to zero belongs to the domain of a function. Okay. And f of x is odd. then f0 will definitely be 0. Okay. So if f if 0 belongs to the domain of a function and f of x is known to be odd. Okay. And continuous also I should add. And continuous then f0 will definitely be 0. Are you getting my point? In other words, if f of x is an odd continuous function, is an odd continuous function, such that f of 0 is not 0, then f of x cannot be odd. Sorry, if it is a continuous function and f of x, f of 0 is not equal to 0, then f of x cannot be odd. Sorry, by mistake, I wrote an odd in the, in the beginning. So for, if it's an even function, it can be zero or anything else also. Right? Sorry? Yeah. If it's an e even function, f zero can be anything else, right? For example, x square plus two at zero, it can be two also. Correct. But if you have an odd function, which is continuous and it is passing through zero, that means it's value of y should be zero also at that position. That means it should pass through origin. Okay, so a continuous function, which is odd and zero is a part of its domain, then it will always pass through the origin. So why does it have to be continuous? So what it be automatically continuous if it's odd and exists at zero? Uh, no, no, 
no 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 let's say if i have a if i have a situation like this okay and let's say this value is here oh okay yes yeah, sir yeah so if if there is a, or let's say there is a value missing here then what will happen it is odd but it is not continuous at zero okay are you getting my point so this will create a problem in the same way there is a similar funda for even also for even function we say that uh let me write this as a let me write this as b a differentiable even function if f of x is a differentiable even function differentiable even function okay differentiable even function means differentiable everywhere or you can say it is differentiable uh, in the domain which includes zero then f dash zero would be zero okay x is a part of its domain differentiable i should write yeah if f of x is a differentiable even function where zero is where zero is included in its domain then f dash zero will be zero getting the point alternately you can say alternately you can say if for a differentiable function if for a differentiable function having zero in its domain function with zero belonging to the domain if f dash x is not equal to zero then f of x cannot be even cannot be even okay it is just a negation of the same thing all right now in the interest of time i'll give you some function in fact i we have 8 minutes left we'll give you some function and i'll ask you to categorize it under even odd or neither let's take a question let's take a uh, a simple question log of 1 plus x by 1 minus x second let's say log of x plus under root of 1 plus x square third one let's say e to the power x e to the power minus x by 2 fourth one x sin x plus tan x upon gif of x plus pi by pi minus half so this represents gif okay where where x is not a multiple of pi x is not a multiple of pi let's start uh i think these are all easy ones 
So let me start with the first one. First one, please put your answer as one and then write E or O or even or whatever you want to write. First one is O. That's absolutely correct. Because if you do f of minus x, it becomes log of one minus x by one plus x, which is actually negative of log one plus x by one minus x. So yes, absolutely correct. This function is an odd function. Second one. Second one. Neither, neither, neither. Okay. Okay. Let's check. Let's check. In second one, if you take f of x as, if you change your x as minus x, you'll get log of negative x plus under root one plus x square. Okay. Now just try to rationalize it. Just try to rationalize it. So let me write it like this log under root one plus x square minus x. Okay. Let's try to rationalize the inside part. Something like this. Okay. So the numerator will become, if I'm not mistaken, a square minus b square that will lead to a one. Denominator, you can write it as x under root of one plus x square, which is actually negative of log x plus under root one plus x square, which is negative of f of x. Clearly indicating that even the second one is odd. So people who wrote neither, <laughs> it's wrong. It's actually an odd function. Okay. It's actually sine hyperbolic inverse X. Anyways, this is pretty simple. If you replace X with a minus X, nothing happens to the function. So this is an even function. No problem with that. What about the fourth one? I would like you to work on the fourth one. X is not a multiple of pi. Be aware of that. Okay, Ruchir. Okay. Two people have responded so far with respect to the fourth one. Okay, Rajdeep, very good. Chalo guys, we'll discuss this in the interest of time because we don't have much time left. Let's try to, let's try to first write it in a simpler way. Uh, this will be X sine X plus tan X. Okay. This will be X by pi plus one minus half, right? Now we all know that when you have a GIF term with an integer in between integer comes out of the GIF symbol. Okay. So, I hope everybody is well aware of this property. Remember we had done this in our theory of equations, right? So X plus N or minus N where N is an integer. Okay. Can be written as G I F of X plus minus N. Correct. Okay. Now this is your function. Think like this. Now on this, we have to check what happens if I replace X with a minus X. If I replace X with a minus X, numerator will become minus X sine of minus X 
tan of minus x by gif of minus x by pi plus half numerator nothing will happen because a minus sin minus x will be minus of sin x and tan minus x will be minus of tan x because sin tan both are known to be odd functions so odd odd is even so nothing will happen to the numerator function let's check the denominator function now i don't know how many of you remember this gif property that if x is not an integer gif of minus x is minus 1 minus gif of x how many of you remember this property some of you do okay good so this can be written as minus 1 minus gif of x by pi plus a half okay ah now people are realizing that they did a mistake so this will be this will be negative gif of x by pi negative half so you can take a negative up if you want which is which is negative of x sin x plus tan x upon gif of x plus pi sorry gif of x by pi plus half okay i'll not put a bracket here else it will appear as if i have put in a gif over here so which is actually actually if you see this functions negative isn't it this functions which i am showing with my cursor is negative of that so this will be negative of f of x okay clearly indicating that it's an odd function clearly indicating that it's an odd function okay well we have more agendas uh, on uh, even odd functions next class when we meet we'll do some bit of more problems uh, probably some trickier ones and then we'll start with periodic functions functional equations to finish off this functions chapter and then we'll start with definite okay thank you bye bye take care thank you sir stay safe thank you thank you, thank you sir dhruv take care of thank yourself you, bye hey, who is making that okay, <laughs> okay bye bye